turn past the ball. And you can see, even with the driver, you can see how far down his right shoulder goes. And that's because he's launching that ball um, from the right side of his body into transferring it into the left side. Now, this is where the transfer happens. So here, he's still got a, uh, he's got some onto his left side, but now he's going to explode through into his right side. Now, look at how far down his right shoulder stays, okay? And that right shoulder staying down is what allows him to swing out almost to like a first base position. And you can see how well he extends his arms away from his spine. Now that, look at where the shaft of the golf club is here. You know, you can see that extension is crazy out and away from him. And not a lot of people realize just how far he actually extends away from his body. Okay. And then from there, you can see the face of the golf club is rotating over. The hands cross each other. And then he goes into a well-balanced finish. Now, can mo average golfers get into these positions? They can get into, I would say, depending on flexibility, range of motion, they can get into a lot of them. Um, if you have injuries and things like that, it will prohibit some of it. But overall, I mean, these are the things that, that make him so great. Um, not only that, but just his overall ability to time everything up perfectly. You can see how the body and the club create this like reverse K position. That is the transferring of the energy from the right side, slamming it into the left side of the body. All right. So hope that helps. As always, aim small, sleep smooth. Peace.